a woman by the name of Shirley Raines, who runs the Beauty to the Streets nonprofit organization, traveled to Las Vegas to spread the love that she normally spreads in Los Angeles, California, to the homeless population when she had to get somebody in check for the following. Check it out. I'm saying, I know you're not out there talking like that. I know you're not out there talking like that. You are gonna ruin it for everybody. No, you're gonna, no, excuse me, let me speak. Let me speak. Cause I heard your speech and it's quite frankly rude. You are over there, listen sir, we drove all the way from Los Angeles. Don't lean on that, don't lean on that. Let me finish. You are responsible for you. You being the only white person in that line, we have lived that plight all our life of being the only black person in the space not feeling protected and safe. We are not here to hear your cup of tears. Stand in that line, do the best you can. Do not come over here bullying us. And the fact that you would pick up that phone and call the police because you think you are not being served properly and f it up for the rest of these people in the heat, I find it quite frankly selfish and rude and I have nothing else to say. If you call those police on those people, I hope this community comes for you. That's rude. We are not here for you, we're here for all of you. And you're making it about you. Walk away. He don't call the police because I'm talking about he the only white person. He don't want to stand with all them black people because of the way they treat him. I know I did not, did I hear what I heard him say? All my life I had to fight. So as you saw and heard her say, enough. You will not disrespect us and everybody else in this line because you were white and you feel like you're not being treated right. And so I'm going to say this. There's not really a whole lot else to say other than what she said because she's absolutely right. There she is out the goodness of her heart helping the homeless as she does so often. Um, and she has to stop and deal with that. So my thing is, how are you homeless and racist? It seems like you got enough going on and you trying to be racist too. But that also shows us that no matter where they are in society, they will always find an opportunity to try to be racist and make themselves more important than us. And I say though, big ups to that sister because a lot of people would have told him, beat it, get out of my line. So anyway... Y'all tell me what you think of that. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.